Hi friends, once again good evening and welcome to my channel Mugambika Nursing. Friends here we are discussing questions for ESIC and RRB exam. ESIC exam is on 7th July. Here I am preparing questions according to subject wise. First we are discussing questions from fundamentals of nursing. In the previous video one set of questions we discuss. Continuation of the previous video here we can see the next set of questions. Before discussing the questions, we can see some important points. First point regarding the types of urine test. First one, cold test and hot test which is used for urine albumin. And second one, Benedict test or failing test which is used to detect urine sugar. And sulfur test or haze test is for bile salt. Haze test, another name is sulfur test. And next one iodine test or smith test is for bile pigment. And uh, the next one Rothras nitroprusside test is for ketone bodies or acetone. The next we can see some abnormal color of urine. Green or brownish yellow urine which indicate bile salt and bile pigment. And a reddish brown that indicate presence of urobilinogen. And bright red means it indicate large amount of fresh blood. Normal urine is pale yellow or amber color. That is the normal color of the urine. This all in abnormal situation. Okay. Bile salt or bile pigment that indicate green or brownish yellow. And reddish brown means urobilinogen. Bright red means large amount of fresh blood. And pink color means small amount of fresh blood. Okay. And smoky brown color of urine that indicate blood pigments. And milky white color of urine that is known as chyluria. And it is seen in case of filariasis. That is milky white appearance like milky color appearance that is known as chyluria. It is due to filariasis. This is some important points. If it is useful, please comment me. Then I can add daily some important points before the questions. And we can see the questions. First question, blood should be stored at which temperature? Options. Option A, at 2 degrees Celsius to 6 degrees Celsius. Option B, at room temperature. Option C, at 10 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. And option D, at 20 degrees Celsius. Question is, at what temperature the blood is stored? And the correct answer is, it is between 1 to 6 degrees Celsius. In our option, 2 to 6 is there. So, that is the correct answer. The blood is stored at 2 to 6 degrees Celsius. Option A. The important point, the transportation of blood in the hospital should be done within 30 minutes after it is taken from the storage place. Okay, once it is taken from the refrigerator, it should be sent to hospital within 30 minutes. Another one important point, if the blood is kept in room temperature, then the temperature of the blood will increase 10 degrees Celsius within 30 minutes. So, the blood should be sent immediately to the hospital from the storage place. If it is not using the blood, again we have to keep in a refrigerator. We will see the next question. This all questions from previous year ESIC questions. Okay. One unit of blood contain how much amount of blood? Options. Option A 100 ml. Option B 200 ml. Option C 300 ml. Option D 400 ml. Question 1 unit of blood contain how much amount of how much ml of blood it is 300 ml option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question the preferred point for the measurement of jugular venous pressure is options option A CV sternum option B C fold process option C sternal angle option D suprasternal notch. Question the jugular venous pressure is monitored at which point? Correct answer is option C, sternal angle. And the position which is given for measuring jugular venous pressure is semi-follows position. That is also important point. 
Move on to the next question. Which drain is used for the drainage of bile after an open cholecystectomy? Options. Option A. Hemovac. Option B. Penrose. Option C. T-tube. Option D. None of this. Question. Which type of drain is used after cholecystectomy? Cholecystectomy means it's the surgical removal of the gallbladder. So, after cholecystectomy using T-tube. Option C is the correct answer. Also an important point, Cotter's incision. It is performed in case of open cholecystectomy. Okay, Cotter's incision. Move on to the next question. Which of the following is the most important aspect during the acute stage of an unconscious patient? Options. Option A. Level of awareness. Option B. Response to pain. Option C. Pupillary reflex and response to stimuli. Option D. Patency of airway and adequacy of respiration. Question. Which is the most important nursing assessment during the first stage or acute stage of unconscious patient? First, we should assess the patency of airway. Option D is the correct answer. Patency of airway and adequacy of respiration. Move on to the next question. How should a nurse administer an IM injection to an adult? Options. Option A. Intradermal in the forearm. Option B. Intramuscular in the deltoid. Option C. Intramuscular is a tract in the gluteal. Option D. Subcutaneous in the abdomen. How we can administer injection iron to an adult patient? That is the question. So, it can give through is a track manner. Okay. Intramuscular is a track in gluteal muscles. Option C is the correct answer. This iron injection is irritable. Okay. So, it should be given in deep IM in is a track manner in the gluteal muscle. And the next question, what is the ideal length of insertion of rectal suppository in an adult? Options, option A, 2 inch beyond the internal sphincter. Option B, 4 inch beyond the internal sphincter. Option C, 6 inch beyond the internal sphincter. And option D, 8 inch beyond the internal sphincter. Question, what is the ideal length of insertion of rectal suppository in adult? It is 4 inch beyond the internal sphincter. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question, how often can a donor give blood? Options, option A, every 3 month, option B, every 6 month, option C, every 9 month, option D, at any time. Here the question is, how often can a donor give blood? That is, what is the time interval between the donation? Okay, so he can donate every 3 month. A donor can give or can donate next to donation of blood after 3 month. Okay, here option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. In an emergency, when the patient is unable to state his blood group, it is safer to cross match with which blood group? Options, option A, B positive, option B, A positive, option C, O negative, option D, A, B negative. Question, in an emergency situation, the patient is not able to tell his blood group, then with which blood group we can safely cross match? And the correct answer is it is O negative. O, o negative is universal donor. So, we can use safely in an emergency situation. And AB positive is universal recipient. And the next question, which of the following is used in the management of hyperkalemia? Options, option A, insulin with glucose, option B, sodium bicarbonate, option C, sodium chloride, option D, potassium chloride. And the correct answer is, it is insulin with glucose. Option A is the correct answer. Hyperkalemia means increase serum Potassium level. Okay, normal serum potassium is 3.5 to 5.1 milli equivalent per liter. In hyperkalemia, it is above 5.1 milli equivalent per liter. In hyperkalemia, we can give insulin with glucose. This hypertonic glucose will help to move. Hypertonic glucose with insulin helps to move excess potassium from extracellular space to intracellular space. Thereby, the potassium content will decrease in the blood. The next question, related question. Which of the following electrolyte does the insulin helps to move into the cell? 
ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ பொட்டாசியம் ஆப்ஷன் பி கார்பனேட் ஆப்ஷன் சி குளோரைட் ஆப்ஷன் டி பை கார்பனேட் we already discussed in the previous question which electrolyte does the insulin has to move into the cell from extracellular fluid to intracellular fluid there is a movement of potassium will occurs so option a is the correct answer option a potassium and the next question the electrolyte disorder that is common in patient with insulin infusion is options option a hyponatremia option b hypernatremia option c hypokalemia option d hyperkalemia which electrolyte disorder can seen in patient with insulin infusion and it is hypokalemia because movement of potassium will occur so always potassium count will decrease so there is a chance of hypokalemia hypokalemia means decrease serum potassium level normal serum potassium is 3.5 to 5.1 milli equivalent per liter and the next question the mineral that regulates muscle contractions and nerve transmission is options option a sulfur option b magnesium option c zinc and option d copper question is which mineral helps to regulate muscle contraction and nerve transmission it is magnesium option b is the correct answer magnesium also one of the important component in the intracellular fluid potassium also important component after potassium magnesium also important component this magnesium helps to regulate muscle contractions and nerve transmission also for protein synthesis and it is also helpful for the dna repair okay magnesium and the next question for a blood donation the donor should have hemoglobin level above options option a 10 gram percentage option b 11 gram percentage option c 12 gram percentage and option d 14 gram percentage while blood transfusion the donor should have hemoglobin level above 12 gram percentage option c is the correct answer or 12 gram in 100 ml of blood and the next question a client with head injury is confused drowsy and has unequal pupils which of the following nursing diagnosis is priority at this time options option a high risk for injury option b altered level of cognitive function option b altered cerebral tissue perfusion option d altered sensory perception question a client with head injury okay and after head injury the patient is confused drowsy and unequal people here what is the priority nursing diagnosis is altered cerebral tissue perfusion blood supply will come first altered cerebral tissue perfusion option c is the correct answer here we discussed questions from fundamentals of nursing again the next video we can see the next set of questions same from fundamentals of nursing if it is useful for your studies please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle